so um, I mean, uh, Wolf, congratulations to your offers from Roland Berger, Bain and McKinsey and Company. So uh, let's talk a bit about the journey to all your offers. And maybe let's start at the very beginning. So um, what was it initially that drove you towards seeking professional help and getting properly coached initially? Thanks, uh, thanks for most uh, for the congratulations, John. Um, and so just a very brief description of my situation. I was working two years already in consulting, but I was really ready for the, the next step. Um, and when I really thought about, OK, how do I want to do this? Um, I want to reach this goal of working at MBB and, and mostly at McKinsey, I have to admit. Um, I realized it in the beginning, so two years ago, I was maybe not mature enough to, to, to make this step. Um, and so I started at, at Deloitte. And uh, after the, these two years of working, I really uh, yeah, realized, OK, now is the time to go. And I wanted to do this seriously. I, it's not like you have only one shot, but um, I wanted to, to, to make this one uh, work, uh, let's call it. Um, and I realized I was serious about it, and I didn't really want to just test the water and, and see where I'd stand, and uh, will it work, will it not work? I, I wanted to make this happen, and, and that yeah, takes the next step in my in my life, in my professional life, my personal life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's two or three things that really convinced me to, to uh, go for professional coaching. Um, one, as mentioned, I was serious about it. I really wanted to go and, and wanted to put everything into work into making it happen. Second, um, I didn't, in the end, if I potentially did not receive an offer, be with the situation, what if I had taken the coaching? Uh, I would never um, yeah, be, go soft to myself and be okay with it. So I was just like, okay, let's get that out of the way and, and just go for it uh, yeah. Yeah, properly. And then the third one was, I'm working full time at the moment, and I noticed that I started preparing actually before the, I took your, your coaching and I, it was rather difficult for me want to spend or dedicate the proper amount of timing and also to see a bit, okay, am I on track to be yes. fully prepared prior to my first round interviews? And um, it's a combination of those three things, let's say, that really said, okay, this is an easy choice. And then I called with some, some of the other mentees and they were all like, okay, if you're serious about it, why don't you do it? Uh, yeah. It's a yeah. small investment, but yeah, you, you will earn it back multiple, multiple times um, and you will be able to live it yourself comfortably as well, <laughs> which I might be it. important. Yeah, I love it. I love it, actually. I mean, uh, to, to, to point out two things, um, the first is, and this is also what we are getting very often, is um, that there is the 100% motivation to join MBB. Yeah, because bluntly speaking, we do not work with people who have not like 100% um, um, uh, the will in, in order to make it happen. That's the first mm -hmm. thing. And the second thing is, especially for people that are working full time next to preparing the, themselves, it is clear they need a completely step by step approach. And um, this is how we also designed the program, meaning we will tell you exactly what to do in which order in order to get off already. You need to follow it and you need to do the legwork. That's the two things you will need to do. And uh, yeah, obviously you did greatly. <laughs> yeah, it makes oh. it just more efficient and more effective uh, because you don't have to plan and think and d double think and second yeah. guess. And, yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah, and the, the calibration part, to be honest, I mean, uh, it's always it depends on whom you want to get uh, calibrated uh, from, yeah, because it only makes sense if this is a senior resource that like has seen a couple of hundred people performing, because otherwise the calibration is like not really beneficial to you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Cool. And and then uh, I mean, how did it feel after uh, getting started, and and when did you notice you were on the right track, um, and how did you notice it? Um. Yeah, that's also a very good question. And so uh, it, it felt for me really pragmatic and really uh, I didn't have to study seven or eight, nine, ten frameworks and learn which conditions were needed to be uh, OK prior to starting this framework or that framework. And it was yeah. really like, yeah, use your use your thinking and, and select which uh, of the three frameworks we have um, would be the best suited for this issue, uh, this this problem we have, and even yeah. uh, in one of the mock cases, I, I started with a wrong framework, um, and I was able to solve the case pretty okay-ish. So even yeah. then, it's quite agile, um, even if you start with a wrong framework. Um, so at a certain point, I was being comfortable that every problem I would be presented would 
I would be able to tackle it and maybe not always 100% right, but at least I would be able to get to it and use uh, my own mental power, you, uh, apply it on this framework, of course, to, to crack the case. Um, and in the first moment I really understood this was when I do, was doing a mock case, which I think it was BCG or something. Um, and he was really impressed with the way I, I did it. Um, because it was not the conventional or not the way he expected, but it was really efficient, really effective, really clear communicated as well, uh, which was really, yeah, was, was really nice for him. Um, and in this this project or this this part where I was growing and, and yeah, becoming better and better in applying these frameworks, um, the feedback also improved, let's say. Uh, I did a lot of mock cases with people from um, like my mentors and, and coaches yeah. from the MVP yeah. itself. Yeah. Um, and they were always, yeah, well, if you have really good business sense, um, really mature way of communicating um, and, and really, uh, it's not like you're stressing how should I tackle this problem, but you take it easy, calm, and you just uh, step by step, linear, walk you, uh, yourself through the problem, which, yeah, I, I, had, to, I had that feeling as well. Yeah. Um, so I, I had the feeling myself and I was able to convey it. So that's really nice. I, I really like your last point. So was there a specific feedback in your actual MVP interviews that stood out? Um, yes, yeah, so as mentioned, uh, so the, the things I mentioned before as well as so um, the business uh, critical mindset was always there, uh, a mature way of, of conveying and also a bit because I, I had some experience in consulting already. It says, well, if you real, realize you um, you're not doing an oral exam. You're really driving discussion with the interviewer, thinking about some issues. Even during some of the MAB interviews, I was questioning the interviewer and mentioned, okay, you say that, is that, is that really, is that, does it make the most sense? And we just dis discuss this for a few minutes, which is really, yeah, in oral exam, you would never do this, but in this yeah, yeah. Yeah, business case, you do. Yeah. And as far as I remember, you also got a feedback from one of the MBB interviewers of your actual interview that this was one of the best performances she has seen yeah. up until this point. Is that? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to say this <laughs> about yourself, but let's no, be honest, also in the positive direction here. No, that's true. It was from Bain, and, and I, I think she's working there for two years now or three years. Yeah. So she's not a senior dinosaur, let's call, but she has seen some other interviewers. Yeah. Um, and she mentioned, yeah, it was the best one I, I saw until now, which is, yeah, strikes your ego a bit. It's nice to hear, of course, yeah. and you know Good. you're on the trick now. Yeah. yeah, so maybe uh, let's also speak about a little bit about your preparation and uh, the, the time intensity of it. So how did you manage uh, to prepare yourself this part <laughs> that you actually needed to carry out your day-to-day -day work? Yeah, so this was, uh, I think, my biggest challenge, just uh, the time um, yeah. and allocation. and. Initially, what I did, I dedicated every night from 8 until 11 or 8 until 10 uh, to work on this. But I noticed that it wasn't working. Um, yeah. So what I did, I shifted it around actually and dedicated from 8 to 10 in the mornings uh, to it, uh, meaning that I had to work late for myself and for my job. But then every day, at least I did one or two cases or I practiced a case with someone or, or uh, progress on some videos. And I would th have that um, out of the way prior to starting my job. Um, and next to that, I yeah, I really dedicated, let's say, 90 or 85 percent of my weekends to it, because even if I dedicate this one slot in the morning, it's just not. Yeah, it doesn't always work out when I have a client meeting or blah blah blah. Yes. But it's just I focus mainly on the on the weekends, um, and then in the mornings, yeah, just to get it out of the way prior to, to doing something else. Um, yeah. Yet, and we need to also be honest about it. Like it's it's uh, it's intellectually challenging. So it's not working to do it after a long uh, work day and and say, oh, tonight I spent another hour and doing my prep. So this is not the way how it will work. Mm -hmm. Let's also be honest about that. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, yeah. And I really so, realized that as well. If, if I did a peer-to-peer -peer business case with another mentee in the evening, then I would just yeah not be on my A game because it's just not possible to yeah. after a full day of work. So yeah, that's fully correct. Okay, cool. So maybe to to uh, close, um, looking back, so is there or what would be your suggestions to people that are just about to embark on their journey to break into MBB? 
Sorry, can you repeat the question again? Ah, what would be your suggestions to people that are just about to embark on their way um, into break into MBB, so preparing themselves? Yeah. Um, so, so I think the, the points I mentioned in the beginning um, are actually quite applicable here as well. So mm -hmm. you have to be sure about yourself. Do you want to do this? Do, do you, are you serious about going into the MVB? Do you want to put in the effort, not only the time, but also the, uh, yeah, really the effort of um, everything around it. Only planning the interviews uh, itself was already quite a time consuming <laughs> job for me. Yeah. Um, so you really have to be, yeah, clear with yourself. Okay, this is what I want to do. And this is your top priority at the moment. Uh, I was renovating my apartment at the same time, but I just pushed this away and I said, okay, this is not going to happen and I will delay it with three, four months because this is now my main priority. Uh, so you really have to be, be sure on that. Um, and, and if you're clear on, okay, I really want to do this, then I think all the rest follows a bit on this, right? Uh, if you're serious and it's your top priority, then why not? Yeah, if, you, if you're putting in all your time and, and, and your effort, then why not go for your opt the optimization of your chances, right? Um, and I think that and it's easy for me to, to speak uh, in hindsight, of course, but I think that, that this coaching I took with you is really yeah, optimize my chances um, in, or in the most efficient and effective way as well. Um, because I think maybe if I would have taken a two year uh, stop from work and, and prepared two years, maybe I would, it would have worked as well, right? But yeah, <laughs> that's, not, that's not possible. Yeah. So I think uh, given the constraints that I had was the just perfect solution for me because it's a structured way of approaching with feedback um, from both of you, which really yeah, pinpoints your pain points, but also things you do well and where you should uh, yeah. communicate more. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. So, I mean, at the end, two more things from my side. First, I hope you get your renovation done. Actually, it's looking pretty good in, the, in your background. So, I hope yeah, this, is, this is my mom's apartment. So, uh, <laughs> so now. That, 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 that looks actually fine. And the yeah. second is all the best uh, for you. And uh, I'm pretty sure uh, another great career is, is, is waiting for you with what I have seen and how you developed uh, throughout the program. I'm fully convinced you will also make it with an MB. So, Wolf, Thanks. all the best to you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Theron.